How's it going guys, Engage Tutorials here. In this tutorial I'm, gonna I'm pretty much going to be going over my render settings for Camtasia Studio 7, my HD render settings. Um, I probably should have opened this before the tutorial, but um, while we wait, I would like to say please rate the video, like the video, and comment. It really does help my channel a lot, and uh, that's the reason I say it a lot and put in annotations, because it actually does help get more viewers and subscribers and stuff like that. So, that would be greatly appreciated. I just gotta wait for this program to open. Alright, once it opens, um, either record the screen if you haven't already, or import media, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna import the test clip I just recorded. Once it's in your clip bin, you wanna drag it down to the timeline. And put the dimensions, YouTube and HD, like that. Hit OK. Now, if you have black bars like this, what I do is bring the um, little time thingy uh, all the way to the beginning. Go to zoom and pan and right click on the video and snap to video edges. And it makes it full screen like that. So if you have black bars, just go ahead and do that. Next thing you want to do is go to produce and share right here. Drop down the menu and go to add slash edit preset. Now I'm going to click the preset that I have. Just, just run you through it and uh, you can copy it down, but you just want to hit new. So name your preset, whatever you want. For the file format, you want to have it MOV. You will have to have the QuickTime program. Um, the link will be in the description to download that from Apple. Then you want to hit next. Um, Wait, went back, went too far. Um, anyway, hit next and go to QuickTime Options. For the settings, you want to have compression type at H.264, frame rate 30, keyframes every 30 frames, quality best, encoding best quality multipass, and hit OK. For the size, you want to have 1280 by 720 HD. Hit OK. For sound settings, you want to have the rate at 48, all of the last one, 48.000, and 16-bit uh, in stereo. You can hit OK and OK. Now hit Go to Next. For the custom size, 1280 by 720. Next. And you can add a watermark if you want. But other than that, just click finish and you'll be rendering. Um, just close this, pick your preset, and hit next. And save it to wherever. So yeah, guys, uh, pretty simple tutorial. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Sorry if I was a little messed up. It's pretty tired. It's 129 after the new year and uh, about to get off the bed. So see you later.